What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X here. And I'm back with another video. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday, stuff. I'll be, by the time you see this, probably not Friday, after Friday, whatever, stuff like that. Hope you guys are, do, are doing swell and stuff like that. Hope you guys are waiting for the weekend and stuff like that. Because summer is about to begin and stuff like that. So, oh, man, stuff. So, I got a lot of news to talk about, stuff like that. But first, I want to talk about something that caught my eye and stuff. So, so we're going to talk about Cyberpunk coming back to the PSN store. Cyberpunk, I thought that was just a myth. A fairy tale. Legends beyond legends. The game, the, the game that, the game, the game that was the most hyped game in all of existence. The greatest thing since sliced bread. The greatest thing since cars were invented. The greatest thing when we traveled to space. That game and stuff. So we're going to talk about it. And, you know, I, I, I go over there, you know, just to get my thoughts about it and stuff like that. Because, you know, it, 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 it's in, it, interesting. I've been keeping up with the game here and there and stuff like that. I did refund my copy and stuff as higher pump because that game was completely completely broken stuff like that i know i made videos of cyberpunk in the past you know hyping up because as everybody i was hyped and stuff i brought into the idea and i think cyberpunk's fail really woke a lot of people up and uh developers up for after the aftermath and stuff like that on what happened and stuff like that so not only did that but actually changed and sent a message throughout the whole industry said said hey Y'all can't just release a, a, a broken, like, that game was completely broken. Never in my life had I played a more broken game, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it was bad. But we're going to talk about it. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure that you smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the video. Make sure you share this video out. Because that helps the channel out so, 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 so much. My, in my next new video, stuff like that, I'm going to be talking about uh, GTA V. So, stay tuned for that. But uh, let's just get right into it. So... If you guys don't know, or you've been living under a rock, which everybody should know, the 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 tragedy story of cyberpunk and stuff. Now let's just take it back, not all the way back, but let's take it back to, 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 to when cyberpunk was literally the most hyped thing in this whole universe. So man, the year was 2020. World was world was going crazy, stuff was happening. Gaming was booming, but there was one game, one game, there was one game that outshined them all. One game on the horizon that we could see. <laughs> Sniff. One game that was right there that said, when this comes out, this is the answer to all of our problems. Every single one. When this comes out, I'm not going to have no life. When this comes out, I'm not going to have... I don't need to buy any other game. This is the game. So much rumors and speculation and stuff like that. Oh, it was great. But then the game got delayed. Three times. So the first time, it was like, alright. It was supposed to come out in April. It's my birthday month. But then I went to, I think, May or the year May or June. So I'm like, all right, summertime. Woo! See, the said, nope. Come now in November. Like, damn, okay, holiday season, stuff like that. Holiday season, it's a roll around. Everybody was, was already hyped. For the PS5 and new Xbox stuff like that. So, you know, we did have some shiny beacons, even though things were going on in the world and stuff like that, that were crazy and stuff. But that game was on the horizon. People would say that, oh my god, is it gonna be a next gen stuff like that? But it was but it was going but you you you'll be able to play it on your next gen console. I mean it's to be the, the PS4 version and stuff like that. But then as soon as the game gone gold. It got delayed again. The first time I think ever a game that has gone gold got delayed. 
Everybody was shocked. Like, what? What happened? But everybody was anticipating something that they came out in December. Now, I was a little scared when it got delayed and stuff like that. I said, maybe the game should be pushed back and stuff like that. But as close release and stuff like that, the view, the review, the top reviewers got copies of the game and stuff. You no, know, but but CJ probably right told him, hold on, don't show, no console gameplay, only PC. People were puzzled. People were like, like what? Are they hiding something and stuff like that? Until finally the game came out. And people was like, this is going to be, this is going to be the greatest thing. This is going to be it. This is it. This is it. And the game released. And then. Yikes. The game was anything but great. Broken beyond belief. Bro broken beyond compare. It got so bad. People started to meme it. People started to troll. People started to get outraged. Just uh, why want refund stuff like that. Oh, man. CG Project Red has hurt. But that Sony said, hold on. Y'all think that you can release a broken game on our platform? Even though there were hundreds of broken games in the past that got released on the PSN store. And Sony didn't take no actions. But... For you, CG Project Red, they said, you were the chosen one. CG Project Red was looked at that they could do no wrong. They was looked at as as that kid in in, in middle school that you know that sat by himself that, that, that said, I go be like the rest of them. I go be myself. But as soon as he, but as soon as he got to high school, he said, Man, fuck them. If you can't beat them, join them. CG Project Red because they're riding on the success of The Witcher 3, a game that I couldn't even get into. Success. I was like, oh my god, they're the holy grail. Even Sony was shocked. But I guess the the kingdom fell and stuff like that. So Sony said Yoink. They, they, they took their game off the PlayStation Store and stuff like that. It was a shock and stuff like that because Sony never removed a game off of the digital store. So, CG Party Red was making headlines all on the wrong reason, stuff like that. I wish it was a good reason, but I can vouch and stuff like that. When I played the game from the out the gate, the graphics were shit. Complete garbage. The frame rate was a fucking joke and stuff like that. From the Especially when you go into the city parts, the lag. Like, that would jump from 10 frames per second. Slideshow tier. Microsoft point presentation tier. Crashing. The crashing in that game was literally, like, every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20. It was so bad, stuff like that. Game-breaking bugs to where you came and pass a certain mission. I came and pass a, I'm, I'm amazed that I actually beat the game. Yes, I got to the end, but it was a lot of missions that got bugged and I couldn't even get past while I was in my game, stuff like that. So many things went wrong and you could tell that this game was rushed, but they wanted to release it anyway so they could make their money back to try to fix it. But they were got on their paper, stuff like that. So they got so much backlash that people were reporting because this game was supposed to be it and stuff like that. You know, this was, this was the most anticipated game Literally, of the decade, the and stuff like that, you know. I mean, the last decade. So, a lot was riding on Cyberpunk and stuff like that, and they dropped the ball and stuff like that. CD so, had to read, hurt their reputation, you know, their, you know, their stocks, their, you know, their, uh, you know, their, their, their fan base was hurt and stuff like that because, you know, it's like, what happens if I that like you looked at them like they were like Nolly Dog or or Soy Sam Manga and stuff like that or a Somniac or Somniac and stuff like that on that tier like we you know you expect a certain level of quality and stuff like that. It was a whole mess and stuff like that, you know. You know, this got, got, got pretty bad and stuff like that and then they got hacked, um and so and stuff like that. So that really pushed them back even more because when they got hacked and stuff like that and it was just, I, I was looking at all the news, and I was just like, man, this thing, 
they they just going to get worse and worse and stuff like that. Their investors or inferiors and stuff like that. But I know that they they're hard work at fixing the game and stuff like that. But then when we when we all forgot about Cyberpunk and it was like a distant memory, like now when I talk about Cyberpunk, it's like oh that game, <laughs> yikes. But then CD Projekt Red came out with some news and stuff like that. Not only did they say that they're fixing the game and that they got a patch for the game and stuff like that, that uh, that uh, just dropped. But did you probably read that said that Cyberpunk is coming back to PSN store June 21st of this year and stuff like that. So I was shocked and stuff like that. And maybe the game is a little bit more stable, stuff like that. But Sony did give a warning on the old PS4, like, like, like the original one, and probably the, the Pro 2 and stuff like that, that it is going to stop performing issues, stuff like that. So it was a shock and stuff like that because the game's been off, out, the, out, like, off the, 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 the store for like six, seven months, stuff like that. So that's a long time, stuff like that. So CG Pirate Red probably had to really convince Sony to say, listen, we fixed the game. Here's what we got and stuff like that. Sony said, took it, reviewed it, and said, Way better than the damn release stuff like that. So uh, I don't know if I'm picking now and stuff like that. I don't know how they're gonna go about it stuff like that because they cannot release that game back in full price. They cannot stuff. That game probably like if you had it install it, you get like like 20, 30 percent off on it stuff like that because they can't release that game in full price. And they do. I'll be shocked and stuff like that because the game is it's still rough and stuff so it's still broken and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna wait until another year till the next gen versions come out. But I don't know how long that's gonna be and stuff like that. But uh, it is coming back to stores to stuff like that. So that is you know great news uh, for them and stuff like that because you know they try to get good on, on, on Sony side and stuff like that. You know get back in the, the good graces and stuff like that because. Man, they really tripped on us, tripped on the themselves. See that it that's what happens when you have so much pride and you're cocky and stuff like that. And your first and your first couple of games were a massive success, and you try something new and you fail and you can be brought down like that and stuff like that. So I think it opened their eyes, it opened everybody's eyes, stuff like that. And you know. I, you know, I, I I don't wish bad on them stuff like that because they will do better. They will take this lesson that they learned and say, okay, listen, we can't do this again. Here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna take our time, develop the game. The game needs to be delayed. We can't lie about it. They just get delayed or delay it without giving a date. Just say 2022 or 2023 and stuff like that. Because when you delay it and you give a, a release date and stuff like that, you're only making it worse. Just they, they should have back back in 2020 delayed it and then, you know, say, okay, it's not coming out 2020, but it'll come out like 2021, 2022, and stuff like that. I think people will be more happy and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, that's just my thoughts stuff like that. What's your thoughts about you know Cyberpunk coming back to the PSN store? Are you going to rebuy it, or are you just Completely done with Cyberpunk and you move on to bigger and better stuff like that. I think that that's where I stand. I'm done with Cyberpunk and stuff like that. I'm looking over to the horizon. Maybe I'll pick it up again when the next gen versions come out and stuff like that. But rebuying this on for the PS4 version. Yikes. And stuff like that. I ain't doing it. But uh, that's just my quick thoughts and stuff like that. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Make sure you share this video out because that helps you out so, 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 so much. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take it easy. Peace.